Welcome to Cord Cutters LI. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Here at Cord Cutters LI, we try to help people like you save money on their cable bill. One of the easiest and best ways to save that money is to stop paying the cable company for television each month and instead start streaming that content on a device like the Amazon Fire Stick. There are nearly 18,000 official apps currently available in the Amazon App Store for Fire TV devices. Around 50 new apps are added just every week. Now, that may sound like a lot of apps, but for every one of those official applications, there are countless other unofficial or third-party apps that you can install on your Amazon Fire Stick as well. The popular term most used for the ability to install unofficial apps is jailbreaking. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to jailbreak a new Fire Stick here in 2023, but I'm also going to show you how to find and how to install the countless number of unofficial apps on your Fire TV streaming device. It's fast, it's easy, and best of all, it's free. So if you're ready to learn how to fully load your Amazon Fire Stick with all the apps you'd ever want, both unofficial and official, grab your remotes and let's go. If you're new to Cord Cutters LI, where we try to help you save money on your cable bill, please click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Doing this will make sure you don't miss out on any new videos as they come out and it helps to support the channel. Before we go any further and before the comments section below fills up with people saying there's no such thing as jailbreaking, well they would be right. Although the word most searched for when it comes to fire sticks is jailbreaking, jailbreaking a device is a lot more complicated than what we'll be doing today with the fire sticks. The correct term for what I'm going to show you today is side loading. To enable the side loading of unofficial apps that aren't available in the Amazon App Store, we only need to change one setting in the Fire TV interface. So let's get started. Okay, here I have a freshly factory reset Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So it should be roughly the same as if you were to just get yours from Amazon. Let's say you just got it for the holidays or whatever and you haven't really set it up yet. So to download and install unofficial apps, you'll need a free official app that is available in the Amazon App Store. Ironic, isn't it? The app is actually a browser called Downloader. You get Downloader by moving over to the magnifying glass and going down to search. Now you can either use the Alexa voice button on the remote, or you can just start typing in the word Downloader here at the search screen. And as you'll see, after just a few letters, you will see Downloader appear at the bottom. You can click on that, click on Downloader, and go ahead and install it. This is a free application, so no worries. After it's installed, click the Home button. Don't open it quite yet. Now we're going to get to that setting I spoke about earlier. First thing you need to do is get to that gear. So the quickest way to do that is move to the left by going one, two, three. Now you're on the gear. Click on that and move down to My Fire TV. Now we need to access a setting called Developer Options. Normally this is between About and Legal right here. Because this is a brand new Fire Stick, Developer Options isn't here. Amazon went and hid that on a recent update. So the way that you get that back, you click on About, and then you go to the name of your Fire TV Stick right here, which is, in my case, Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but this is the same on all the newer Fire Sticks. You hit this Select button seven times. When you do that, watch what happens. Three, four, three more, two more, one more, now it says, no need, you are already a developer. If this is your first time ever doing it, it would just say you are now a developer. So now when we go back one, now you'll see in between about and legal and compliance, we now have this developer options. Click on that and then move down to install unknown apps. We want to change this downloader from off to on. Click on that. Once that's on, you can go ahead and hit the home button. That's it. You've now jailbroken your first Amazon Fire Stick. Or to be more accurate, you've enabled the installation of unofficial apps using the downloader browser. That's all that this is. This is not rocket science. This isn't something that, you know, you need some really smart, you know, kid on the block to do and sell to you for a high price. This is easy and this is all that needs to be done. To demonstrate how to use downloader, I'm going to show you how to install an app from the Cord Cutters LI tutorials page. To do that, we're going to need to go ahead and open up Downloader. So do that now. In order for Downloader to work properly, you must click Allow on this step. Otherwise, it won't work. So click Allow. It's going to give you some information about what we're doing. 
Click OK. Now, up where it says enter a URL or a search term, we want to put in, you could either type in cordcuttersli.com or you can just put in the short code, which is 893-64, and then go down and click Go. This is going to redirect you to cordcuttersli.com. It gives you a few seconds to make sure that you didn't typo that code when you entered it. When we're there, you want to hit the hamburger button twice. That's the one with the little three lines there, once and twice. That sets it to full screen mode so you can easily navigate around. Now let's move over to the menu, which again is the three lines. We'll go in there. Lots of other things here to check out on the cordcuttersli.com website. Feel free to do that at your leisure, but for this demonstration, let's just jump right into tutorials. You can click on the ads if you want to. I'll choose not to for this demo. And as you can see here, this brings us to the tutorials page, which has a whole bunch of stuff that I've been adding, all sorts of applications that are very popular that you can install on your Amazon Fire Stick. And, it have a tu and we have a tutorials page for each one that shows you how to do it. So in this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and install this first one, this fast task killer for Amazon Fire Stick. It's going to give you some information about the application. And then towards the bottom, you can go down and we're looking for this download button right there. So click on that. It's going to download it and then it's going to prompt you with this screen to install it. So go ahead and click install. Once it's installed, click done. Don't open it quite yet. Move to the right, click delete. Move to the left, click delete. This removes that installation file so we don't take up space on our Fire Stick. So that's it. Now we can go ahead and click home. And it brings us back here. And if we go into our apps, which is right over here, you will see way down at the bottom of the list. If we move to the left, you'll see it. This is the fast task killer that we just installed. As I said before, I do encourage you to browse around the Cord Cutters LI website. You will see many more apps and things that you can install. Feel free to browse through these tutorials. You'll see that there are a lot more apps. There's also some app stores that you can install. That way you can find lots more apps. Basically everything that you need is easily downloaded with the downloader app now that we've changed those easy to change settings. That said, whether you use unofficial apps on your Fire Stick or not, you should have a VPN to help you stay connected and protected. Right now, IPVanish is running a great deal at 75% off the regular price. So check out the link below the video to give them a try. It's the VPN I use and trust. So there you go. You now know how to jailbreak or sideload apps on your Amazon Fire Stick. If you found anything I showed you here today useful, please like the video. To be sure you don't miss any new videos from Cord Cutters LI when they're posted, be sure to click that subscribe button and share this in all your favorite videos with your friends. This helps to get my videos seen by more people. Together we'll help the world save money on their cable bills as well. Thanks for watching.